How did Brad Pitt's brutal brawls in Fight Club lead to his cameo in one of the highest grossing R-rated movies of all time? Stick around to find out. Brad Pitt is one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood, having starred in profitable pictures like World War Z, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and Ocean's Eleven. But his highest grossing film ever doesn't feature him in a leading role. That honor actually goes to Deadpool 2, which made $786 million worldwide. It's easy to forget that Pitt was in Deadpool 2 at all, and if you blinked while watching it, you might have missed him. As the Vanisher, he has the power of total invisibility, but that doesn't stop him from suffering a shocking fate in a tragic parachuting accident. Vanisher! Maybe the wind can't blow what I can't see. Really? Yes, this is the only time Pitt actually appears in the film. He never says a word. Obviously, the gag is that no one expected a star of Pitt's caliber to join the cast of Deadpool 2 for such a minuscule role. Most film productions would be thrilled to have an A-lister like him on board, but director David Leitch subverted expectations by giving him a laughably brief cameo. So how did this zany appearance come about? As Pitt explained to BBC Radio 1 in August 2022, he and Leitch have a friendship that dates all the way back to the Fight Club days. He explained, Dave's an old friend of mine. He was my stunt double, starting with Fight Club and all the way up until about 2004. And then he went off and became a really good director, which is rare. Leech is best known now as a director of adrenaline-pumping films like Bullet Train, Fast and Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw, and Atomic Blonde. But to reach his level of success within the action genre, Leech first put a lot of time into crafting, coordinating, and performing stunts. Aside from standing in as Tyler Durden in the late 90s, Leech performed stunt work in Blade and The Matrix Reloaded, but he still continued to double for Pitt in films like The Mexican, Ocean's Eleven, and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. After some time, however, their careers diverged. Leech pivoted to assisting with stunt coordination in films like V for Vendetta, and acted as the action coordinator for X-Men Origins Wolverine. Meanwhile, Pitt starred in critically acclaimed films like 12 Years a Slave, The Big Short, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the last of which finally got him his Oscar. However, Leech's professional relationship with Pitt has recently come full circle. During a press event for Leech's Bullet Train, in which Pitt stars as a bumbling assassin Ladybug, the actor discussed what it was like to work with Leech again, saying, He trained me for those fights. In a way, he's helping me develop the character. Now he's a director with his own voice and vernacular. I'm serving him. He's the boss. So there was a beautiful symmetry for two old friends. During a conversation with Leech and Pitt for Brew America, Leech happily noted, our fates took us in different places, and then they ended up bringing us back together. As entertaining as it would be, it's very unlikely that Deadpool 3 will be what unites Leech and Pitt again for outlandish battle sequences. Instead of Leech, Sean Levy will be directing the third Ryan Reynolds starring Deadpool film. And unless some kind of multiversal plot device changes things, Pitt's run as the invisible X-Force member seems to be over. It's also unclear when Deadpool 3 will actually hit the big screen. Due to the door writer and actor strikes within Hollywood, the release date is up in the air. That doesn't mean that the Leech Pit collaborations are a thing of the past, though. Bullet Train grossed over $239 million at the global box office, on a budget of around $85 million, which is no small feat. It's a testament to the pair's successful work together, on and off camera.